everyone, welcome back to Chilling with Chili Sid. I'm here with Frodo. I don't know if you can see him because he's here and he's kind of chickening out. You know those cats that chicken out? Frodo. So today I'm going to do a sauce review from a guy. Um, I bought these sauces from Martin at um, Guildford and they're called Must Chop. So Must, must Chop sauces. Now these are like ketchups, well they are ketchup. So this one is the Big Kick. So it's two chilies. Big kick, mustard and chilli ketchup. Now mustard and chilli ketchup, that sounds like it's because it's got heat from the mustard, heat from the chilies. Now it's not going to be very hot because it's two chilies. So let's just quickly read the ingredients on this one. Well actually, let's see if there's anything else to read first. So right, it says must chop, adds flavour to dishes with tasty must chop big kick. The perfect combination of tomato, mustard and habanero chilies. Now, said the right word hasn't he habanero chili you know how much i love habaneros uh for an extra hot taste cook with it marinate with it and use it straight from the bottle so versatile um it he says servings with meats fish and chips or cook with dishes such as spaghetti spag bowl cottage pie sausage casserole steak pie so basically pies casseroles that sort of thing so we'll talk about the uses later ingredients let's see we've got tomato mustard and chili sauce the ingredients are tomato paste water chopped tomatoes um and the ch uh, it's 17.4 percent chopped tomato so tomato and tomato juice acidity regulator citric acid sugar spirit vinegar Dijon mustard, water, mustard seeds, spirit vinegar, onion, rapeseed oil, salt, cayenne pepper. There's quite a lot, guys. Cayenne pepper, because then I can show you the pour on this one. <clears throat> uh, I use my chili seed mug for everything, because otherwise it flies around the garden. You have to pick it up now. Really nice, nice colour. So... Let's give it a shake. Now it is quite a thicky one. It's not really runny. You can hear that gloop. Nice, isn't it? Now the colour is beautiful. Um, big kick mustard chili. Now you've got turmeric in there. The habaneros may have been orange or yellow, and obviously all that tomato in there, so it gives it this golden sort of sunburnt orange colour. So just check it out. First of all, logo. Look at that simple logo. I'm just trying to focus it. Yay, must chub. There we go. And it's just, just a simple bottle. It's a nice standard size bottle. This is a biggie bottle, 216 grams. Now look at that. I mean, you probably can't see the pour on this, but if you look at the ingredients, smooth. There's no bits in it. It's absolutely smooth. So let's go for it. It's a nice big, big sort of, nice big ball. Look at that. Yes, nice thick sauce. Yay. Okay. Great. I can... Straight away, you, you've got that tomato vibe going on. And then there's mustard and heat. Now, no, no heat, habaneros. You know the pod flavour coming through, but not the heat. Because this is a two chilli and I don't expect it to be that hot. So, mmm, nice. So, there's nothing for it. It's a ketchup. Now, let's see if I don't overdo this because it's a big, big neck. I'm just seeing if you guys can see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's dribbling off the side. Now that is a massive spoon. But then again, it's a mild sauce. So check this out. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. Smooth. Mmm. Smooth. Just got to eat it now. Here we go. Thank you, Martin. Wow, that's nice. Now, heat-wise, it's not very hot. You get a burning on the tongue, but the main thing you get is a tomatoey, mustardy, and the habanero kick coming in. And that's it, really. It's a really nice taste. And um, okay, so this is a really versatile sauce. Now, it's what it says. It's a ketchup. Mustard and chilli ketchup, you've got the mustard coming through, you've got a hint of chilli which now has completely subsided, so it's not it's not a lingering heat, it's gone, the burn's gone, um, and the flavour's there. It's jam-packed flavourful. It's a ketchup, so it's got the ketchup consistency, but, you know, it's, it's got that added kick with the mustard, and as uh, Martin said, and he said it on the bottle as well, you can use it on many, many things. So, 
obviously chips and dips you can straight away dip with it you can dip anything with it use it on your barbecues use it on your and he's specifically said here things like cottage pie sausage casseroles all the casseroles cooking with that lasagna you can probably put it on pizzas because it's not mega hot now heat wise if you don't eat chilli, this will be fine for you. It's got a little heat for you, so you might think one or two. But you know what, if you eat chilli, it subsides. There's nothing to it. Um, and it's perfect combination to many, many casseroles, many, many dishes, yeah, on the side, cheeses as well. So, brilliant, I like that one. Um, this one is a bad boy kick, mustard and chilli ketchup. So obviously his trademark is having mustard with most of his ketchups. I'm just going to take the sleeve off. And then quickly go through this. <laughs> what to be fight over here? I've got I've got it sorted now. And I have a knife, and it's easier for me to deal with. So this is a three chili, so it's slightly hotter than that one. And again, I think it's got habaneros in it. So um, again, meat, fish, um, spag ball, but similar sort of uses as the other one. Um, you can basically. Dip it, dip with it, cook with it, shove it in anything, and it's really nice. And I think chips, both of them will go well with chips. So here we go. Ingredients: habanero chili, sugar, water, spirit vinegar, Dijon mustard, um, and you've got mustard seeds in there as well. Chopped tomatoes, tomato juice, acidity regulator, citric acid, tomato paste, salt, cayenne pepper, turmeric, garlic, mustard, lemon juice concentrate, paprika, black pepper and the stabilizer xanthan gum whole grain mustard mustard seeds spirit vinegar salt white wine vinegar sugar and spices now i just realized i didn't say it on this one if you've got an allergy to anything the allergens in both of these are mustard seeds the dijon mustard and mustard seeds mustard flour so if you've got an allergy to mustard please just don't try this one so again must chuck and it's again a gorgeous color gorgeous pour it's starting to rain now gorgeous pour Really nice smooth paste. So here we go. Mm, well, hold on a minute, let's give it a good shake. <coughs> wow. Mm, you can detect the mustard, the habanero, similar sort of aroma to that one, but I think it's a little bit hotter. So I'm going to use the same spoon because it's the same sort of thing. Now, here we go. Let's hope I don't overdo it on the spoon. But it doesn't matter because they're Moorish. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Really nice. You see the consistency of that? Smooth, thick, gorgeous colour and mouth-watering. I'm dying to go into this one. Mmm, mustardy. You can taste the mustard, smell the mustard in that. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This one isn't as um, smooth as that one. It's got bits in it and it, it has got the heat. So, oh yes, the heat is coming through now. And forgot to say, it's won a Great Taste Awards. Check that out. So the Great Taste Awards for this one. So tastes nice. It's got heat to it. Similar uses as that one. So you can put it on everything. Must chop on everything yet yeah, you must have a must chop on everything your chops your meat your di uh, sandwiches dips anything that you can use uh, ketchup for so these two are from martin at must chop really nice but difference in in ketchup um with the mustard i'm going to just take these off with the mustard kick to it versatile use on everything they're really moorish slightly hotter milder but now the heat has completely gone from my tongue so anyone can have these even kids can have these um if you don't eat chili you may find it that one or two if you eat chili this is just a spicy ketchup and it's really really nice so you guys know what to do now yeah so you need to get a must chop get your must chop now order 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 like subscribe and hey guys put loads of comments down there if i can't answer martin will thank you very much for watching